Welcome to Digital SAT Deep Dive. My name is Vince. Let's get straight into this. So we got text one and two. This is a, you know, kind of a reading comprehension type of question. And we're being asked, what would the author of text two say about text one's characterization of the discovery involving EGR? So we know, I know you don't, we don't know what that is yet, but the premise here that I want to give you is that we only really care about the main idea of text two. That's the only thing we really need to think about. The right answer will reflect that main idea. So let's go into the text thinking about that first, and we're going to start with text two. And we're going to see if we can get this right, uh, just knowing text two's main idea. And then we're going to go through each choice and, and do it more thoroughly, but let's just see if this works. <clears throat> okay. When Monzi and her team reported that panther worms like humans possess a gene for EGR, it caused excitement. However, uh -oh. however, as the team pointed out, the gene functions very differently in humans than it does in panther worms. And they have likened EGR to a switch that activates other genes involved in regeneration in panther worms. But how this switch operates in humans remains unclear. So let's think about this. What do you think the main idea is here? Well, let's think about it. What we do here is, and it's important to notice what happens after a shift like however. That's usually kind of the point, you know, what happens after that. Yeah, everybody's excited, but they're like, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> it operates differently in humans. And it it's unclear how it operates in humans. It just operates a certain way in panther worms. So at the end of the day, they don't really know anything about the humans. So we're looking for an answer choice that involves being unclear or different in humans than panther worms. And I think that that's probably going to be the gist of what we're looking for. Now, we're going to, we're, we don't have to decide for sure, just in case you're getting nervous. I'm getting nervous too. I don't want to get the answer wrong, but let's look at the choices. What about A? It is reasonable, and again, we don't really know what text one is saying yet, but we are going to just bank on our main idea for text two. It is reasonable given that um, the team has identified how EGR functions in both humans and panther worms. That strikes me as a little too positive. Passage two, or, or you know, Manzi, kind of negative about they they don't really know what's going on, you know. Um, B looks pretty good to me. B looks pretty good. I'm just going to draw a line under B, you know, it's overly optimistic. And that sounds like something that you would say about a study that uh, you maybe studied the same thing, but you were like, hey, honestly, it's kind of unclear. So I think that B is probably right. Let's look at C. It is unexpected, given that she and her team's findings were generally met with enthusiasm. I don't think that's really the point of text to I don't, I don't like C. I, I mean, I, yeah, I know it was, they were met with enthusiasm and maybe passage one is really negative, but honestly, it doesn't really reflect the main idea of, of text two for me. The text two is all about how unclear it is. And D is a little too positive too. It's like, Hey, that's unfair. We made a lot of progress. Actually, you kind of didn't, <laughs> well, you did, but you didn't right? like the, their progress basically is to say it's unclear. Okay, so if I was just to pick a choice here, I would pick B. But let's just do, this is a deep dive video, so we're gonna dive a little deeper. Let's actually read text one and see what we learn. Most animals can regenerate some parts of their bodies, such as skin, but the panther worm can be caught into three pieces and each piece grows into a new freaking worm. Researchers investigating this feat are investigating this feat partly to learn more about humans comparatively limited abilities to regenerate and they're making exciting progress. Sounds pretty positive so far. An especially promising discovery is that both humans and panther worms have a gene for early growth response linked to regeneration. Now, what do we think about this? What's the main idea of text one? And this is another, you know, you don't have to do what I just did in the beginning. It's not always gonna be that easy maybe, right, to just look at text two. Let's just think about the main idea of text one. Text one, super excited, 
it's exciting. It's promising that, that humans and panther worms have this gene, this EGR early growth response gene. So if I were to characterize the main idea of text one, it would be that we're pretty excited about this gene in, uh, humans because, you know, that's pretty cool if we can regenerate like parts of our bodies, right? So super excited. Now think about text two, not so excited. We're cautious. We're unclear. We're unsure. So if, if I'm thinking about the text simply, let's just write this down so we can keep track, you know, text number one, I would summarize as excited about the gene Pass, or text two, more cautious, basically saying it's unclear. Now, if we go back and let's go choice by choice again, now that we have a little more information, would text two say that this excitement, and we're just going to simplify it down to the main idea, would text two say this excitement is reasonable? No, they would be like, it's actually kind of unreasonable. You're too excited. We don't really know anything yet. What about B? It's overly optimistic given how unclear we are. Yeah, that's right. We have more information now that we know that the passage one was super excited. And all we have to do is kind of confirm that they were optimistic, AKA really excited. And you know, passage two is like, nope, it's too unclear to be that excited guys. What about C? Let's just go through all of them here. See, it is unexpected given that she, her findings, um, no, it wouldn't be unexpected to be excited. If the findings were met with enthusiasm, it would be expected. So that's backwards. And then what about D? It is unfairly dismissive. It's not dismissive at all. It's anything but dismissive. It's like super excited. You can't really usually be excited and dismissive at the same time. So what did we do here? What can we learn? We've read the text two first, cause we wanted to know what text two thought. We got its main idea, which we said was basically that things are unclear. And we were actually able to answer the question just based on that main idea. Now to be more sure of our answer, and you might do this, you know, depending on your skill level, you might, you want to read text one and get its main idea too. And we boiled that down to text one was really excited. And then it was even easier to see the choice B was a sort of logical reaction from X2, you know, we're unclear, you're excited, you know, we think it's unclear, therefore your excitement is overly optimistic. So basically the skills we, we want here are main idea. And as long as you can get the main idea straight, you should be able to eliminate as well as choose the right answer.